Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Cutlass. In this episode, we're going to be dyeing our dashboard black. Let's get to it. So in the previous episode of Rebuilding the Cutlass, we were able to extract our dashboard from our cutlass. Uh, and we got it out onto the floor and kind of took a look and seen what kind of bolt held it in and things like that. But in this episode, we're going to start off here by removing our dash speaker that is still held into the car. And then we're going to go ahead and start working on getting that dash cleaned and prepared so that way we can uh, start to paint it. But let's go ahead and remove this speaker and keep making progress on this. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned up a little extra than just vacuuming. But we did get everything vacuumed out. I put all the wires over here into one big mess. It's actually pretty easy to loom though, so it just goes right back how it kind of wants to conform. And everything over here looks great. I took out all that duct work, vacuumed everything out, got everything out of the way here. And uh, yeah, things are looking really good. I think the next thing we can do is go ahead and start sanding down all this rust here. So that way we can try to uh, get it prepped so that way we can actually paint everything. I'm gonna to try to paint all of it uh, as best I can. Obviously, I don't wanna get the windshield or anything like that. I'm not ready to change the windshield out, but uh, we'll go ahead and take off these uh, panels here too real quick on the A-pillar. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're just gonna go ahead and attempt to uh, get this sanded down uh, and then we'll throw some rust protector on it and then we'll go ahead and paint it. got those top A pillar pieces off we also need to take off these bottom kick panels here uh, this one's behind the parking brake so that's kind of annoying but the other side's a little bit more free uh, they don't look held in too well because I see a couple of like screws shot through them so it is what it is maybe, we'll, maybe we can fix it better but we do need to take these out and because uh, so, we're gonna also be uh, dyeing those or painting those so let's go ahead and take out those kick panels So those kick panels came out way easier than I thought they were going to. They actually just kind of just pulled out. Uh, they were just held in by the, the bottom sill and that top piece that we just took out on the A-pillar, but they came out really, really easy. And uh, actually I'm gonna have to hold off uh, sanding down the dash for another day because I do have to run out and do a, a couple things. So I'll probably have to catch you tomorrow. All right, we're back out here. And today we're just gonna start by prepping the dash in the car. We're gonna just try to sand it down, get most of the rust off, use some of that rust converter, and maybe even get it to black today. But uh, we'll just see how far we get. Like I said, it's gonna be a short day. Uh, just find a little bit of time to hop out here in the garage. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started by sanding that down. All right, we just went ahead and went through the whole entire dash with a scotch Bright pad to get off all the loose stuff and the dirt and grime and everything like that. Then we went through the whole dash and wet sanded it down to 800 grit. That took a lot of the rough edges off of everything and stuff like that and made it nice and smooth. Uh, got out 90% of the rust, I would say. Uh, I'm not going for perfect because most of that rust is underneath the dash pad. Uh, uh, of, the, of all the stuff you actually see on top, it actually looks pretty good. Um, then we went over it with some uh, lacquer thinner or uh, paint thinner, and then we also did some uh, wax and grease remover. But the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, tape everything up. 
Hopefully taping isn't terrible, but we need to tape everything up at least, the uh, windshield, the A pillars, and uh, stuff behind the dash uh, and the steering wheel. So hopefully we get that done real quick and then we can go ahead and uh, spray some of that rust converter and then paint it. So let's go ahead and, and cover everything up. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be the finished product before we start spraying. But uh, we got everything taped off for the most part. Everything I care about mostly. And uh, should all go on pretty well. So we got the steering wheel all covered up too. I will be changing out the steering wheel in the future, but just going to keep this one on here as it is for now. But uh, what we can go ahead and do is hit it with that rust converter now and let that dry because it has some of those rust spots up top here. And then we can go ahead and lay down the black. So let's go ahead and do that. We did that rust converter and also threw the epoxy down. It's looking really good. So I think we can go ahead and uh, peel off all the uh, tape and take off the cardboard and stuff like that because it's been drying for a little bit. So let's go and peel that off and see what it looks like. Hopefully pretty good. Alright guys, let's check this out. We are all black on the dash now. This is looking really, really, really good. Uh, it's a teeny bit green all the way up in the top, but I mean, it's such a small, small amount where the weather stripping meets the dash that I think I'll be, I'll be the only one that ever notices. Uh, I did get a little bit of orange peel right here. I'm not gonna worry about it. Hopefully just the dash and everything like that kind of just takes away from it. But uh, you can kind of see the color difference right there from the uh, steering wheel to the uh, column. Now there are a little bit of these pittings and stuff like that on the column that uh, I didn't get fully out, but we're just trying to get it black. One day when I restore this thing completely, this will all be sandblasted and redone properly. But for now it is black and it's looking really good for what it is. So uh, I think the next thing we can do is probably move on to like those kick panels down there or the glove box and then uh, we'll change the color of the actual dash. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that, but we'll probably do that another day. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and clean and paint are the A-pillar covers. So I'm just going to give these a quick sand down and then hit them with that rust preventer and then also uh, paint them. So let's give them that rust down. So we're going to go ahead and sand them down now. And there we go. We got both of the A pillar covers all painted. They're looking really good. They look phenomenal, honestly. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this for the night and uh, we'll go ahead and do some more uh, overhauling tomorrow or the next day. But uh, this is looking great. Got the dash done today and uh, job well done. So catch you guys tomorrow. All right, it's the next day here and we're gonna go ahead and clean up these uh, kick panels right here and we're just gonna paint them in the black just like we did the other pieces. So let's go ahead and get the soap and water out. Uh, wax and grease, remove them, and we'll go ahead and shoot them black.
All right, so we went ahead and painted those completely. We cleaned them all up and everything like that first, but uh, painted them completely now. They're just drying. Uh, we're gonna leave them dry overnight, uh, and we'll probably just uh, work on probably the dash tomorrow or the next day. But just quick session today, and uh, got these painted while I had the chance to, and let them dry overnight, looking great. So uh, I'll catch you guys when I have to do the dash tomorrow. All right, so we got more time to work on this today. So today we're gonna try to tackle the dash. So. Dash is all like a foam, kind of vinyl-y, plastic type material. And then on the bottom there's some plastic. But well, there's also the vents and the controls and everything like that that uh, need to come off. Hopefully we can get them off pretty easily with, so that way we can actually paint the uh, dash and the trim pieces and everything like that. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to work on right now is taking off all, hopefully the vents, the controls on the other side, and maybe that plastic on the bottom. So that way we can separate things out and actually get things painted correctly. So I'm going to start by doing that and uh, here we go. All right, so real quick, I struggle with this thing a lot. I didn't want to break it, so I did Google it a little bit. But uh, pretty much the way this works is uh, you have this uh, piece like that, and you have this nut threaded into the assembly here. So this uh, nut or bolt or whatever you want to call it, it threads in here, and you have to take it loose with either a special tool or I used a pair of uh, small needle nose pliers. Once I got that loose, I still couldn't get the shaft out of there. So after a little bit of Googling, there's this little button on the side here. All you do is just push that down and pull out and it releases from here. So I would never have figured, figured that out. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys might already know this, but I had no clue. So uh, hopefully it helps you if you ever have to take your headlight switch out. Uh, this is now out. Hopefully I can then do the uh, rest of it. Uh, I've been struggling with the windshield washer uh, switch as well. so. Uh, I might have to Google that one as well. So let's keep going. All right, the dash is now completely disassembled. Uh, a couple of things to note, the vents, you don't actually have to take the back off. You just have to take the two screws out from the front on each one of them. Didn't know that, but I ended up figuring that out on the last one. And I just uh, did the front, but these two have the vents and the holder behind it all the way out. The cigarette lighter is really easy. It just spins out of a little cage. The uh, headlight switch, I showed you that in a little bit uh, more detail. And then the uh, windshield washer uh, switch. That's a little bit different because it has like an Allen wrench on the side of it that takes off the front knob. And then you can uh, go ahead and pull the back piece out where it had the electric connector and everything is with the four screws. And then after that, you need to then, uh, then you need to take the front plate off. And that's held in by two little nuts. So once you get all that off, it all comes off pretty easily. It's looking really good. Next, we're gonna go through and give it a nice, nice cleaning. And then after a cleaning, wax and grease remover, and then we'll be ready to dye it. So let's go ahead and clean this thing thoroughly.
Alrighty, so we went ahead and cleaned that completely with soap and water. We rinsed it all off, then we uh, hit it with a bunch of wax and grease remover. Hopefully got anything off that was on there. I went over it a few times. It feels really clean, it looks really clean. So I'm really hoping that this is going to work just as it should. What we're going to be using today to paint it is the uh, VHT uh, vinyl die. So the vinyl die here is probably one of the better ones that is actually out on the market. There's also Dupacolor. Uh, if you want to try that one, go for it. But uh, I've seen good reviews on the VHT. So what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, start spraying this. You have to do it within 10 minute coats. So spray the first one light, then uh, another light coat after 10 minutes, and then spray a medium coat. And then uh, if you're gonna apply any more, it says to wait 24 hours, but uh, uh, I hope we won't actually have to spray a fourth coat. So uh, two light coats, then a medium coat, and then uh, hopefully that's it. Shouldn't need any primer or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and start by uh, putting this on there and see what it turns out looks like. All right, well, I moved over to the trash can because I got a little bit more height on it, but I sprayed one more heavy coat on the top of it after those two light coats, and it's looking amazing. I don't see any any runs, any issues. Uh, I had a teeny bit of bubbling on the top of the dash, maybe where I didn't get enough oil off of it, but uh, I sprayed it a couple more times after it dried, and it seemed to clear right up. Uh, really liking how it turned out overall. I'd give this vinyl dye a 10 out of 10. Um, it dries really quick too, which is really nice. And has pretty much a flawless, flawless finish. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and dry for 24 hours. And after it dries for 24 hours, we'll go ahead and put the vents back in. I'll probably just clean those vents up off camera, get them nice and clean. And then we can go ahead and uh, reinstall them and put it back in the car. But uh, we'll have to do that another day as we're running out of time. But this was a big feat today, and it's looking amazing. So we'll go ahead and catch you guys tomorrow. All right, well, it's been a couple days since this has dried. It's still looking amazing. I'm very, very happy with the results. So today what we're going to do is start reassembling everything, putting it back on the dash so that way we can then put it in the car. So let's go ahead and start reassembling it. All right, that was a lot easier to put back together than it was to take apart now that I know how to do everything. But uh, the dash is now back together. I didn't put the vents in yet because I still want to clean them up a little bit. I didn't get the chance to do that yet. But uh, we can go ahead and throw this in the car because we can put the vents in from the front with those Phillips screws that we now know that we can do that with. But this is actually going to be the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to be putting the dash speaker back into the vehicle. And then we'll put the dashboard in there as well. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching.